The Korean language Netflix series Squid Game is so compelling and has become so popular in the English speaking world that there has been a huge surge in interest in English speakers wanting to learn the Korean language. So today I'm going to count down six ways the Korean language works differently than English while taking a close look at Squid Game Season 1. While this video is about comparing and contrasting how English works and how Korean works, the examples will be taken straight out of Squid Game. So if you haven't already already watched all of season one of Squid Game, a spoiler alert is in order. Let's get right to it. Number six, plural and singular nouns. In episode one, during the first game, red light, green light, players move forward on a field, but they must stop moving by the time the giant doll says red light, at which time the giant doll turns around and eliminates any player who is still moving. And if you haven't seen the show, eliminated is a euphemism in Squid Game for murdered. However, red light is quite a departure from the literal translation. In reality, this doll, who Koreans recognize from children's textbooks, is not saying red light in Korean, but rather the doll is saying the mungunghwa flower bloomed. This is how the Korean version of red light green light works. The mungunghwa flower, also known as the Rose of Sharon, refers to the national flower of South Korea. And when the doll says it blooms, you must stop moving. What she says in Korean is Breaking that down, the verb at the end is the past tense of bloom. E is the subject particle, leaving the noun which is referring to the flower. Unlike English, Korean does not force a distinction between singular and plural nouns. So the Korean word for the mungungwa flower could be referring to a single flower, or it could refer to many. The singular plural noun distinction is mandatory in English. So you may be thinking, how do Koreans know whether you are referring to one flower or many flowers? Well, context usually makes it clear, so it is rarely an issue. After all, take into consideration some of the irregular nouns in English, such as moose, fish, or deer. They do not change forms for a singular and plural distinction. Whether we say one deer, two deer, 35 deer, or many deer, English speakers are not usually confused as to whether the noun deer is singular or plural. The singular plural noun distinction is not necessary in all languages, including Korean, that does just fine without it. Moving on to number five, naming structure. In English, a typical name has three parts in the following order. First name, middle name, last name. The last name is the family name. In Korean, a typical name has just two parts in the following order, a family name and a given name. The family name always comes first, followed by the given name, just the opposite of English. The family name is often one syllable and the given name is often two syllables. The character Kong Sebyuk has her family name of Kong followed by her given name Sebyuk. In the Korean naming structure, there are no middle names. In both Korean and English, the family name usually comes from the father's side of the family. In English, traditionally, a woman upon marriage to a man changes her last name to her husband's last name. Although in the English-speaking world in the last 50 years, some women have been keeping their maiden names. However, in Korean, women are not in the practice of changing their family names at marriage, keeping their maiden names for life. On to number four, prepositions and postpositions. English primarily uses prepositions. Korean uses postpositions, also known as particles. Let's take a look at an example at the very beginning of episode one of Squid Game. In the English sentence, in my town, we had a game called the Squid Game. In my town is a prepositional phrase. In is a preposition that indicates location, and it is prepositioned before the noun phrase, my town. 
However, instead of using prepositions that go before the noun phrase, Korean uses postpositions that go after the noun phrase, also called particles. So in Korean, in my town or in our town is worded more like our town in. While the idea of using words like in as a postposition that goes after may seem unusual, English actually does have a few postpositions. For example, ago is a postposition. In the sentence, Huang Dong Hyuk first wrote Squid Game over 10 years ago, ago is a postposition that goes after the noun phrase 10 years. The difference is that Korean primarily uses postpositions. And now number three, honorifics. The entire Pacific Ocean lies between the United States and Korea. And when it comes to honorifics in American English compared to Korean, there is an equally huge divide between these two languages. While English certainly has titles of respect that can be used, such as Sir, Ma'am, Doctor, Your Majesty, they are not used anywhere nearly as often as the titles of respect in Korean. In fact, they are used so widely in Korean that they can be challenging to translate into English. English. Here is a scene from episode 6 when Song Wu has tricked Ali into leaving his bag of marbles while they split up with the plan of meeting up again. Notice that in the English translation, Ali is calling out just Song Wu's name. However, in the original Korean version, Ali is calling out not only Song Wu's name, but also the term Hyung which means older brother, but can be used beyond family to show a close valued relationship. This makes Song Wu's betrayal of Ali even more heartbreaking in the Korean version than in the English version. In the Korean language, people indicate their positions in hierarchical relationships with each other and respect to each other, not just with titles of respect, but also with grammar. Honorifics are built into many aspects of Korean grammar, such as verb endings and particles. The Korean system of honorifics can be daunting to learn for English speakers, since honorifics are almost non-existent in the English language as compared to Korean. And now number two, word order. Word order is different in English and Korean. Let's look at a sentence from the character Kang Sebyuk. The default word order for statements in English is subject, verb, object. In I don't trust people, I is the subject, don't trust is the verb, and people is the object. However, in Korean, the default word order for statements is subject, object, verb. So in Korean, the sentence, I don't trust people, I is the subject, people is the object, and at the end, the verb is don't trust. So in Korean, instead of I don't trust people, you say something more in line with I people don't trust. And finally, number one, writing system. Unlike what appears to be arbitrary English letters, Korean consonant letters mimic the shape of your mouth when you articulate the sound. Think of Korean consonant letters as simplified drawings of your mouth pronouncing the sound. For example, in the spelling of the name, Song Gi Hoon, the letter that represents the consonant G is a simplified drawing of the shape of your tongue when pronouncing the G sound. The same is true with the consonant N. It represents the tip of your tongue touching the roof of your mouth, the position your mouth is in when pronouncing the N sound. The Korean writing system is one of the most intuitive of all the world's languages. In English, there is no way to determine visually where one syllable within a word begins and the other ends. In Korean, letters are arranged into syllable clusters so that syllables are easily identified. Here you can see that the Korean word for squid has three syllables. If English used a similar system, it might look like this. 
Notice you can visibly tell that Netflix is composed of two syllables. English has two sets of letters, lowercase letters and capital letters. Lowercase letters are the default and capital letters are used at the beginning of a sentence or a proper noun, such as the title Squid Game. In Korean, there is no such thing as a capital letter. So the first letter of the title of Squid Game in Korean is the same whether it were at the beginning or any other part of a word. Now I want to hear from you. What aspect of the Korean language do you find the most different from English? Let me know in the comment section below. My name is Andy, better known as the Palm Springs Linguist. After earning my degree in linguistics, my team and I opened up a Korean dual language immersion program in an elementary school district. Members of our team went on a trip to Korea to learn more about the language and the culture. We even got a tour of the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. Here's me spending a moment in North Korea to take a picture. I make videos about language and linguistics showcasing travel destinations all over, including my hometown of Palm Springs, California. Click subscribe to gain access to past and future episodes. It's completely free. All it does is tell YouTube to let my videos surface for you. And if someone approaches you in the subway station to play children's games for money, trust me, just tell them no.